because I'm selfless, I'm determined, I'm strong-willed, and overall, I have my moral values. Thank you. Woo! I counted like 10 different reasons there, but it's okay. Number five. Number five, right smack in the middle. Ah, okay, you better know this one. The Federal Republic of Nigeria was recently declared an Ebola-free nation. What, in your opinion, can the Nigerian government do to maintain this status? Thank you very much for that question. We could keep Ebola out of Nigeria by checking incoming people, people coming from outside the country, and of course, also washing our hands whenever we meet with strange people. Thank you very much. Very she knows her stuff. Very okay. Number three. Number three. Okay. What, in your opinion, makes Queen Nigeria beauty pageant different from all other beauty pageants in Nigeria? You ready? All right. Thank you very much for that question. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say that I deem it distinguished to stand before you this instance, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, to answer my question, I'll say that Queen Nigeria is a very distinctive pageant from other ones because they do not only talk about the inner beauty of a woman, but it also preaches culture, the Nigerian heritage, and they do not promote nudity. This, above all, is one of the most important values in Nigeria. <laughs> Number seven. Hmm. All right. Now, let's say you're given the opportunity and you're crowned the Queen Nigeria 2014. Now, if you had to organize, you know, some sort of community service, what would you organize and how would you accomplish it? Real fast. Thank you for that question. If I were to organize a community service, I'll organize one that would go from street to street to help young children who don't have food or clothes or anything or any place to sleep. I'll go to help them, give them food, clothes, water, and a place to sleep if I could. Thank you. Question number six. Okay. Should you be given the opportunity to organize a community service as the Crown Queen Nigeria 2014, how do you intend to accomplish that? Thank you very much. If I was given a chance to organize a community service, I'll set up a foundation that gives arms to the less privileged in our society. Thank you very much. Thank you, ladies. Great answer. Great. Um, Queen Nigeria was better in 2008, but for some reasons uh, it took a while before we came out to be bigger and better in the market. Um, Queen Nigeria is a difference in the pageant world, with a lot of difference. Uh, we don't do the swimming session, it has a cooking competition, if you looked at our camp, you took the girls far to cook and it was fantastic. Cultural values are what we look at. Moral values as well, core values as well. It is, it's, 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 it's quite different from others. Queen 
Nigeria 2014. Our best to at least create another role model for our young ladies and um, very impressive the turnout and uh, during the uh, screening and then the workload and at the boot camp um, which uh, we try as much as possible not to score directly from here but you look at their attitude in the boot camp and then um, the the judgment started from the day they enter the boot camp? Um, I would say the queen was um, fair enough. Not what I expected, but I think um, over the years they'll get better in what they are doing. Yes, uh, it wasn't a surprise for me because of uh, uh, the way she handled herself during the boot camp. She was almost everywhere. She did excellently well at the boot camp. And uh, she uh, seen um, Queen Ebony make, uh, taking the uh, crown today. Um, I'm not surprised at all. Know what state she represents. I think Miss Delta or so she was wearing a blue dress. I thought she was gonna win. I didn't think Mr. Boy was going to win, but I mean all of them, they're intelligent, they're pretty, and they're they're beautiful in their own way. So for them to have been the runners up in the first place, it means that they did a pretty good job. because of what it stands for, cultural and moral values, and that thing that has been, will I say, lost in our Nigerian society. I would not say I thought I was going to be the winner, and I would not say I never thought I would win. I would say, though, that I gave my 101% best at boot camp and at the grand finale, just like every other person, every other girl, contestant that was with me on that stage. <laughs> Thank you. 